Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure Virtual Network Manager and how to create Virtual Network Manager. Well, uh, it's still in preview, but uh, the Azure Virtual Network Manager is a management service that enables us to group, configure, deploy and manage virtual networks globally across subscriptions. With Virtual Network Manager, we can define network groups to identify and logically segment the virtual networks. Then we can determine the connectivity and security configurations we want and apply them across all the selected virtual networks in network groups at once. As I informed you that Azure Virtual Network Manager is uh, currently in public preview. This preview version is provided without a service level agreement and it's not recommended for production workloads, right? So in this video, we'll discuss what Azure Virtual Network Manager is and how to create it because I'm doing it in my lab. And uh, <clears throat> during the creation process, we define the scope for what our Azure Virtual Network Manager will manage. And defining a scope requires a management group to be created. After defining the scope, we enable features such as connectivity and the security admin role for the Virtual Network Manager. And after we deploy the Virtual Network Manager instance, we then create a network secure network group by using conditional statements to select virtual networks by names, tags, or IDs. And if I would say the benefits would include that we can centrally manage connectivity and security policies globally across regions and subscriptions. We can enable transitive communication between spokes in uh, a hub and spoke configuration without the complexity of managing a mesh network. It's highly scalable and highly available service with redundancy and replication across the globe. It has the ability to create global network security rules that override network security group rules. Low latency and high bandwidth between resources in different virtual networks using virtual network pairing. Right, and the public preview preview regions are North Central US, West US, West US two, East US, East US two, North Europe, West Europe, and France Central. Right, so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal, so let's discuss that you should have an active Azure subscription if you do not have one. Create an account for free subscription and then you can use the benefits of deploying different resources. Then we have to register the subscription for a public preview. I'm going to go to the pub preview features page. Let me sign in. This is the preview features field. I'm going to Select, I'm going to look for the allow Azure Network Manager. Click on it. And then you click on the register tab option. Registering the new feature, it's registered. Now you click on home, you click on create a resource and then you look for network manager. Okay, click on create. As you go, you can use this one. You can use the name. You can use the name as uh, my Azure Virtual Network Manager. You can select the region as East US or West US because it's available here. You can add the description, it's, it depends upon you. You mention the scope here, then you select the scope. 
by selecting the scope, I'm defining the scope for which Azure Virtual Network Manager can manage. So I'm going to go select scope. I have the management group. I have the pay as you go subscription, right? And I can do select. Add to select scope. And select features you can say you can select the features you want to enable or for azure virtual network manager available features are connectivity security admin or you can select all if you select connectivity it will enables the ability to create a full mesh or hub and spoke network topology between virtual networks within the scope right so if my scope is a subscription i can create a full mesh or hub and spoke topology using that uh, within the scope using this virtual network manager security admin it enables the ability to create global network security rules right so let's say i'm going to select both tags you can add it validation fail i'm going to go to basics what did i miss okay and you do this let me see if i go for okay you only have the subscription or you have the management group you do not have the resource group tax create you see this is how my <clears throat> virtual network manager would look like right so i can view the network groups i can view the configuration deployments properties right i hope this was informative for all of you guys and in the next video we will create multiple virtual networks and then we'll see how we can add and configure them by using a network group and define the topology between them using the azure virtual network manager okay if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day.